Hello everyone, welcome to Road to IBTE. In here, we will be sharing the important informations that you need to know about IBTE and of course, how to apply to IBTE. For today's table of content, we will cover why choose IBTE? What do you need to know about IBTE? Where exactly is IBTE located? Our full-time programs and entry requirements. Also, towards the end, we will tell you how to apply to IBTE. First, why IBTE? IBTE is a technical institution. Hence, we will be teaching you practical skills. In IBTE, we have a smaller class groups. That way, you can learn faster and perform better. In IBTE, most of our students need to go through and pass their industrial attachment before they graduate. The industrial attachment provides on-the-job training in which our student will not just be observing how the job is done, but also doing alongside them. For example, so let's say our culinary students, they won't just be observing how the restaurant crew members are doing their job, but they will also be serving the customers alongside with the restaurant crew. In IBT, we work closely with our industry partners in our curriculum. Hence, you will be learning skills that are demanded by the industries. And with all these trainings provided, we ensure that our student will have that hands-on experience in performing their job. As you can see in these pictures, these are our agrotechnology and engineering students. They are doing their practical lessons. These places are also considered as their classrooms. This is where they learn and do their practicals. What do you need to know about IBTE? IBTE is a post-secondary institution. So what does this mean? It means that you can only apply to IBTE to continue your education here after you have completed your year 10 express or year 11. So after you have finished your secondary education, after you finish your studies, you sit for the exam and then you obtain your certificate, that is then you can apply here. We are more on practical skills, so you will learn more by doing. All of our information can be found online on our website, which is on top here. You can find all the necessary information in our website, which is www.ibte.edu.bn. The application to IBTE is also done online, which is through our system called TVCAS. These are our students in their respective uniforms. As you can see, this one is our assistant nursing students. This is our culinary students, our laboratory science students, and these are our culinary students preparing for a cooking competition. So these uniforms denotes them according to their area of specialization. Also, these uniforms are actually industry ready because these are the uniform that they will be wearing when they're doing their industrial attachment. These are various qualifications that IBT offers. So we are starting from BDQF. BDQF is Brunei Darussalam Qualification Framework, Level 2, Level 3, Level 4, and Level 5. So we have the Industrial Skills Qualification, ISQ, and Tech which is National Technical Education Certificate, as well as HN Tech, Higher National Technical Education Certificate, and also IBT Diploma. So these level, it doesn't mean that when you enter IBT, you need to start from level two. You can start from any level, depending on which one you are qualified to start based on the grades that you have. This table can give you a better understanding on what the BDQF is. So if you see here, starting from level two, which is after you do your O level, you will have your result. And let's say if your result, you have D7 or E8, that means you pass in that subject. So with that, it's at level two. After level two, you can go up to level three, which means you can apply to our NTEC. You can still apply to our ISQ. If let's say you have higher credits in your O level, which means you have A star, 
A2, B3, B4, C5 or C6, you can apply to our HN Tech. You can even apply up to our diploma, which is a level 5. You can still apply to NTEC if you want. So for our diploma, it is actually the same level as Polytechnic's diploma, which is at level 5. And after that, you see it progress up to a bachelor degree, which is degree in universities. And further up will be the master's and PhD. If you'd like to know more on BDQF, you can ask your career teacher and they will be able to share to you more. IBT is made out of two networks of school. One is the central side and another one is the satellite side. So in IBT, we have nine schools of specialization. What is school of specialization? You can treat it as departments. So in terms of IBT, it will be school of business, school of ICT, school of energy and engineering. And IBT, we are very big. So we're spread out into seven different locations. And these are known as our IBTE campuses. We're currently located in two districts, one in Brunei Bara district and another in Balai district. IBT have over 50 programs, including engineering and non-engineering fields, such as in business or ICT. We have over 400 specialist teaching instructors to teach our students, and most of our programs have industrial attachment. In here, as you can see, is Brunei's map, and here we have IBTE campuses being located into seven different locations. And the ones in blue are our central site. And here, the ones in green are our satellite site. All you need to know here is that in IBTE, one program can be offered to not just in one campus. It can be two or more campuses. So for example, in IBTE business campus, we have School of Business. And in School of Business, we will offer business programs. Whereas there's also a School of Business in Sultan Bokia campus. So both campuses actually offers business programs. One in Brunei Muara and another in Balai. So does it mean that if you take a business program, you need to study in two different campuses? No, you will only study in that one campus that you apply to. So you will need to pick whether you're going for the Brunei Muara one or the one in Balai district. Moving to our schools of specialization, the first one will be School of Aviation. So in School of Aviation, we have HN Tech programs in Aircraft Maintenance Engineering, Electronic Engineering, electronics and communications engineering, as well as electronics and media technology. This is the School of Aviation, the campus, how it looks like, and this is actually their classroom. So these helicopters here are actually one of the many equipments that you'll be using for your practical lessons, especially for aircraft maintenance engineering. In here, these are the one of the many equipments that you'll be using when you're taking electronics and media technology. These are also one of our communication engineering students that is doing his practical lesson. The next one will be School of Hospitality and Tourism. So in this school, we have HN Tech and NTech programs in hospitality operations, travel and tourism, culinary operations, and apprenticeship in professional cookery and services. These are some examples of the things that you will do as well as the things that you will learn when you're in School of Hospitality and Tourism. In the past, we have also students that were being sent abroad to participate in international competition representing Brunei and they have came back and won medals back home. You know. The next one will be School of Information and Communication Technology, which is School of ICT. In School of ICT, we have HN Tech and NTech programs in computer networking, information technology, and information and library studies. So as you can see in here, these are one of the many equipments that you will be using throughout your study if you're taking programs under School of ICT. Next, we have School of Building Technology Services. 
So in School of Building Technology Services, we have HNTEC and NTEC programs in construction and drafting, real estate management and agency, as well as in building craft. The pictures shown here are one of the practical lessons that are being done by our students from NTEC in building crafts. As IBT is very big, so for our School of Energy and Engineering, we have Central and Satellite. For the Central side, we have HNTech, NTech, and ISQ programs in Automobile Technology, Electrical Engineering, Electrical Technology, Heavy and Light Vehicle Mechanics, Apprenticeship in Automotive Technician, Blasting and Painting, Marking and Fitting, Ridging, as well as Scarf Folding in the Oil and Gas Industry. In this school, there are a lot of practical work in order for our students to gain the necessary exposure and skills for when they do their industrial attachment. These are also one of the many equipments that you'll be using if you are taking programs under this school. Moving on to our School of Energy and Engineering Satellite, we have Diploma HNTech, NTech and ISQ programs in Control and Automation Engineering, Refinery Operator, Building Services Engineering, Instrumentation and Control Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Plant Engineering, Industrial Equipment Maintenance, Industrial Machining and Maintenance, Welding and Apprenticeship in Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. In this school, you'll be doing a lot of practical work, so you will learn more by doing. During the practical, you will learn the proper health and safety standards as set out by the industry. These are also one of the many practicals that you'll be doing when you're taking programs under this school. This is a learning lab in IBTE, which is a scaled down plan so we call it a mini plan and its purpose is to give a real world hands-on experience for our students. An example of a plan would be the Hengi Industrial Plan in Pulau Mora Besar. Next, for our School of Business, we have HNTech and NTech programs under Business and Finance, Office Administration, as well as Business and Administration. In IBT School of Business, we provide students with training programs to acquire relevant knowledge and skills in line with the challenges of contemporary business practice. The next one will be Brunei Maritime Academy, which we often call it as BMA. In BMA, there are diploma programs as well as rating programs under Marine Engineering, Nautical Studies, as well as Deck and Engine Rating. The main objective of BMA is to produce maritime professionals and seafarers approved and recognized by the International Maritime Organization, IMO, for expanding their workforce development in Brunei Darussalam maritime industry sector. Finally, for our School of Agrotechnology and Applied Sciences, we have HNTech and NTech programs in Agrotechnology, Laboratory Science, Pharmacy Technician, Aquaculture, Dental Assisting, Assistant Nurse in General Nursing, Crop and Livestock Production, as well as Food Processing. Innovation and Integrity are the two key values of this school. To train students to become skilled workers and human capital for the future of the industry, especially in laboratories and healthcare services sector. These are our assistant nursing students doing their clinical rotation. And for our assistant nursing students, they need to do their clinical rotations weekly. The School of Agrotechnology and Applied Sciences gives priority to training students in the application of modern technology in agriculture with the aim of achieving effective and quality agricultural production. If you don't have any O-level credits or passes, but you have completed your year 11, you can still apply to IBTE for these programs. Please note the requirements on each program. 
such as age requirements and the need to undergo medical fitness tests. Please take note that our total programs changes yearly. So what is offered this year may not be offered next year, or it can even be a new program that is offered that year. So please do not expect the programs offered will always be the same and available when you apply to us. Our total programs offered always change depending on industry needs at that time. Our program's entry requirements ranges from complete year 11 to credits in specific subjects, such as in maths, physics, or English. Therefore, because every program have different entry requirements, so you need to check in our prospectus, which is in this link here, and check on to the program that you want and what is the entry requirement for that program. There are two intakes offered in a year in IBT. One is in July and one is in January. So for the July intake, application opens around February, which is after your O-level result is out. So during that time, there are more programs offered. Whereas for January intake, application opens around August. Um, however, it will be less programs compared to the July intake. Occasionally, there are programs that are offered outside of the two intakes, which means they do not follow the July intake or the January intake. So it can happen anytime in the year. So please look out for announcements on our website and social media. To apply to IBTE, you can only do it online using our system called TVCast. So please remember this link here, as this is the link that you will use to apply to us. Please take note, TVCast is only open during application period. So when we announce that the January intake or the July intake is open, that is when you can access to this link and apply to us. For IBTE, the application dates will be announced in our website, Facebook, page as well as Instagram and normally for application period it will be two to four weeks depending on the intake. How to apply to IBTE? If you're applying using your O-level or IGCSE, you only need to do one step. That is, you just need to fill in our TVCast form and after that you click submit. If you're applying using other qualifications, such as BTEC, please check our BTEC to IBTE video. The link is in our description. Please note that instructions may change and do follow the latest information shared to you during your application process. This is IBTE timeline for application. The process are as follows. All applications are processed after closing date. TVCast processing takes two to four weeks. All applicants will receive a notice through TVCast whether their application is successful or not. Please check our social media for the latest announcement. The shortlisted applicants will be called for interview. Please know that for you to be offered a place, you need to pass your written test your fitness test, as well as your interview. The successful applicants must then reply to accept their offer. Registration will commence according to IBTE academic calendar. Please also check our social media for the latest announcement. Yellow and purple smart card holders are able to apply to IBTE. For any details regarding your allowances, hostels, or school fees, please refer to our registrar office. Also, if you have any questions or issues with your applications, programs, 
hostels or allowances, you can contact our registrar office. So this is their email as well as their office numbers that you can contact them. We have come to the end and here are our contact information. You can contact us in any of the methods here. Also, please take a look at our description below as we have put on useful video links that you can refer to. Thank you so much for watching.